Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Shishi Zed. I am back and here again with a new video for you guys. Listen, the goal this summer is 20K subs, right? 20K subscribers. So if you've seen one of my videos before and you've seen it again and you're not subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you already subscribed, hit that notification button so you can know when I release new content. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how a beta male will take your woman. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So recently I was talking to one of my boys, man, who is currently like new to the red pill. He's been dating this chick for a while, right? Not looking for a committed relationship because he's focused on his purpose, right? He's got some other like prospects that he's been dating here and there, but there's just one main chick that he's been dating. Now, for a guy who's fully red, right, and not purple or dabbling in any type of potential full relationship, like myself, you know, doing the purple pill thing, um, that right there, you got to remember, and I reminded him this, that, you know, you can't be attached, especially to a woman who you're not willing to give a full relationship, right? There has to be a way that you're keeping yourself from being attached. Why? Because she can always be taken from you. She can always leave you. Why? Because as a completely red pill man, there is a vulnerability that a red pill man has, right? Which is why a lot of people say, if you're not going to get into any type of committed relationship, not going to live that purple pill life, then, you know, you want to keep a rotation of women just because it's inevitably going to happen, right? You see, whenever red pill aware men think about the potential of another man taking their woman away from them, they're thinking of it in terms of another alpha, right? But the vulnerability isn't usually that an alpha is going to take your woman away from you. In most cases, the vulnerability is that a beta male will take your woman away from you. Why? When you're dating a woman, right? And just dating, maybe it's multiple women, maybe it's one, right? And you don't have any plans of committing to that woman. You are giving her that alpha energy that she wants. And all women want an alpha male, right? That is true. But what you're not giving her is that commitment and assurance, right? Assurance that we are exclusive, assurance that it's just you and me, assurance that I'm here to stay. You're not giving her that. So a lot of the times a woman is getting that alpha, right, which she wants, but without the benefit of the commitment. So what ends up happening in a lot of situations is the type of man that that woman will leave you for isn't necessarily another alpha. In most cases, it's a beta male, right? It's a beta male that is willing to provide for her that exclusive relationship, that commitment. A woman needs to feel and know those things, right? A woman doesn't just want an alpha male, right? And get this, when she's dealing with the beta, so she left the alpha male, went to the beta male, she's appreciating that he's flowering her with compliments, treating her like she's the queen that she deserves to be treated like, right? <laughs> When he's treating her that way, she's getting that appreciation. She's getting that commitment that he's going to stay with her. But if he is a pussy, if he is not assertive enough, if he is not enough of a man to her, right? If she doesn't have those alpha qualities, his vulnerability is that she's now going to leave him for that type of a man. And a lot of times women get caught up in that cycle where they'll deal with these bad boys, right? alpha males, whatever you want to call them, over and over again. Then they'll get tired of him and they'll go to this other guy who's really nice and they'll get tired of those guys and say, oh no, he was too emotional. He was too this. He just wasn't a real man, whatever, whatever. And they'll go back to the alpha male. And it's a cycle that women go through, right? Ideally, what a woman wants is a purple pill man. She wants the best of both worlds. She wants a man who is red pill, right? Alpha, understands women, understands their nature, knows how to deal with the woman, knows how to lead. But she also wants that commitment, right? That ability for a man to value her and still see worth in her. Now, she just doesn't want that blue pill by itself. And she just doesn't want that red pill by itself for very long. Sooner or later, she starts to realize that, hey, this is not right. Hey, this is not right. And she goes back and forth. What she wants is a purple pill man, right? Which is red and blue together make purple. But here's the problem, is that in order to be a purple pill man, you have to be alpha. You have to be alpha. And here's the thing, man. Why would any man with options want to get into a relationship? 
The only time a man with options wants to get into any type of committed relationship is if it benefits him, if there is value in it, if it's a good deal, right? And in a time when a lot of women don't ask men what they want, but instead tell them what they should want, a lot of men don't see value in getting into relationships, yet alone marriages, right? Or committed relationships. Why? Why should he do it? Why should a man with options, it's already hard enough to commit to one woman, right? As a man, let's just be honest, it's hard, especially when you have options. And now if you're, uh, uh, if you're a beta male, you know, you're happy to get what you can get. You're getting the scraps. You're getting the scraps. If you're a simp, you're just happy to get what you can get. But if you are a man with options out here, it needs to make sense. And for a lot of men right now, it's not making sense. Mainly because the purpose of relationships, right, traditionally led to marriage and marriage is a terrible deal for men. And also, even if they did decide just to do a committed relationship thing, you know, and live that purple pill life like I'm doing, they need to see value in it. In just that commitment, right? Because I'm being exclusive. Most men aren't going to see that value. And I don't blame them. If they can focus on their life and on their purpose while not being distracted by, you know, different women and things like that, because I made a video back in the day that's called Why I Have a Girlfriend. And I explained why I decided to get into a committed relationship. The reasons were completely personal, but, you know, I was honest. <laughs> but the truth is, I don't expect a lot of men to do the same thing. Right. Some will do it because they resonate with my experience and my story. But I don't expect most alpha men. Right. To look and say, OK, I'm going to take that path. It just doesn't make sense. And the biggest problem for women is how many men are stupid enough. Right. Or willing to get into a committed relationship when they could date multiple women because they are considered high value. Right. Their SMV is usually very high when you are an alpha male. These alpha males don't want to commit to anybody because they can have anybody and they think to themselves, why would I commit? And there lies the dilemma, right, of the woman, what she wants is a purple pill man. But in order for this alpha man, who is also red pill aware, I'm interchanging those really loosely for the sake of this conversation. In order for him to get into a relationship, he has to see value in dating a woman in our modern day. But most of these guys that have options, they don't see the purpose in getting into a committed relationship. Why? Because in our modern day, it's more of a headache than it is a good deal. It's more of a headache than it is a good deal. You see, an alpha man is looking for a woman who embraces her femininity, who is inspiring, you know, as Kevin Samuels would say, who is there to help him lead. And a lot of women these days don't understand that the men that they want, right, need them to bring certain qualities. They want to tell those men which qualities they should be asking women for. It's crazy. Most women aren't going to get the purple pill man. They're not going to get a guy who's going to transition from that red awareness, alpha mindset, right? And go into a relationship. They're not going to find a guy like that. A lot of the times the way that a modern woman thinks doesn't really cater to what this guy's looking for. So they either mess around with these guys for the rest of their life, right? The alpha guys and never get into any serious marriage, relationship, whatever it is. Or they'll mess and settle with the beta male and eventually end up leaving him too. But in our generation, you're going to trick this guy into getting all his resources through marriage, right? And it's probably the better deal for you. So you should probably go with this, you know? Anyways, just some food for thought for everybody. The main point I wanted to make in this video is a beta male will take your woman as a red pill alpha male more likely than not. Why? Because you have a vulnerability and that vulnerability is you're not willing to give that exclusivity and you don't care, right, if you're doing this thing the right way because you understand that comes with the territory. So when it comes to living that purple pill life, I think I subscribe to Alpha Male Strategies um, view on being alpha in a relationship, right? Which Alpha Male Strategies says, if you do the right things, right, if you keep frame, if you keep alpha, if you're on your purpose and you're doing the right things in your relationship, if you're living that purple pill life, once again, then he believes a woman will not leave you, will not cheat on you. 
I've seen as how I was introduced to the red pill through Alpha Male Strategies, and this was a recent video actually that he did. It was a purple pill video, and he said this. I've heard him say it a few other times, and I think I subscribe to that belief as well, right? That if you are living that purple pill life and you're not being lax and you're carrying yourself the right way, the way you're supposed to, like a real man, right? Like a real alpha man, then I also believe, like Alpha Male Strategies, that your woman will not cheat on you. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't happen. It can happen. Anything's possible. And if it does, it is what it is. It is what it is, right? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. You can't put anything behind anybody. My name is Chisha Zed. Let me know what you guys think of this video. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It really helps boost my channel. We'll talk soon. All right, guys. Peace.